cruise ship dock in Grand Cayman is extremely important for the economy and the country. If we're going to position ourselves to take advantage of cruise arrivals, we have to stay involved in the improvements that cruise lines themselves are expecting from their destinations. The opportunity for Cayman is we're on the, the western fringe of the cruise ships themselves, of the routes that they travel. So if we don't position ourselves with the cruise piers, um, we will continue to lose cruise business. Um, we'll lose that because, number one, the, the mega ships um, that Royal Caribbean has right now are not able to come to Grand Cayman because they require berthing. The Royal Caribbean customer is a, a customer that has a higher per capita income and spends more when they come ashore. I believe that the economic benefit that the cruise piers will bring to Grand Cayman and to the Cayman Islands um, is twofold. Number one, it allows young entrepreneurs and people who have been in business to, to continue with a, a guaranteed revenue source from the cruise lines. Number two, when we studied it and looked at it, it was um, realized that if we don't do the piers, we will probably average out around a million arrivals per year, is, is what the market will bear because of our geographical location. Right now, we average over the last five years approximately 1.4 million. That means that the businesses that are now in place, depending on cruise arrivals, would go out of business. 30% of those would go out of business. Um, our work and our target is to build two piers, and those two piers are to attract 2.2 million cruise arrivals per year. We believe that 2.2 million is the right number because that's the number that needs for the debt service of the piers, um, the triple P that, that we are um, involved in driving forward allows that 20 to 25 years the piers will be paid for and they will, will then be paid for in an asset of the Cayman Islands people. The economic benefit for the Caymanian people themselves is very huge because the piers actually allow the cruise ships to stay longer in Georgetown and, and it allows right now if you have the ability to bring this coming year we will have 1.7 million people arrive. That means you have 1.7 million people that want one tour. If you have the piers, because they stay longer, you'll have 1.7 million people that can purchase two tours per day. So the piers actually allow you to double the income that's available from tours that come into the country. The piers themselves, um, immediately as they're being built, Will, will be something very positive for the economy because of the bricks and mortar will hire people to build it. But the real um, profit center and, and revenue source for the country is ongoing. The way that the arrivals stretch into the community and go all over Grand Cayman and with, with the peers allowing them to stay longer, they'll also be able to take um, excursions into Cayman Brack and Little Cayman as well. This will um, facilitate all of the attractions that are tourist related, Turtle Farm, Pedro St. James, Botanical Park, um, Botanical Gardens. All of these will now have the ability, if you look at them, to become, become profit centers rather than facilities that are dependent on equity injections for the government itself to keep these attractions open for our tourists that arrive. We campaigned on building a dock and the revitalization of Georgetown. The Georgetown area, we look at it as Old Town, and we believe there's a cultural um, and heritage reason to revitalize it, both for the economy and both for the opportunity uh, of making it a vibrant city center. The, the peers themselves play into that. We've done two things. Um, it's extremely transparent, so we have put that out for public consultation. And the environmental assessment that will start shortly um, are very important to the development and to the country. We believe at this point that the environmental assessment will tell us what has to be mitigated. If there are any challenges to the seabed, 
any challenges to the shoreline, that we can look at it with the correct information, the right information, um, in a proper way, and say this is, is a socio-economic benefit to Grand Cayman because of the information we have and the way forward. How you would look at mitigating certain things, overflow of the sea, um, the dredging aspect of it, you want to make sure that that's not going to, to be any type of danger to Seven Mile Beach. Um, obviously that will be high on the priority list of, of how they look at the environmental assessment and, and monitor that. Um, we have a very strong Department of the Environment which will be involved with this. So we believe um, that we are gathering all of the information to allow us to make an informed decision. Um, we wouldn't do this if we didn't think that it was going to be possible to build the piers. But the government has made a commitment that if it comes back that there's so much danger to the environment and the development of Grand Cayman, then um, the piers won't be built. The process that we're in, which is best practice and how it's been outlined, the outlined business case that's being done by Pricewaterhouse, has a time of when the best piers will be looked at, reviewed, and, and built from what we believe is the best for the Cayman Islands. Um, whether it's a floating dock or whether it's piers that are, are um, built solid um, or whether it's piers that are built like a uh, causeway um, or a highway in the states that are built on top of, of um, piers that allow the sea to flow through, we don't know what that will be now because we're not at that part of the process of when we'll actually be looking into that. But we're excited to get to that part and, and start analyzing what will be the best that the cruise ships can come alongside, what will be the best for the country, what will be the best for the arrival um, passengers, what will be best for the tour operators and how they're dispersed. Because again, remember, this is a taking off point for our economy. This is getting them to our shores that we then distribute them through the island for them to enjoy and for, for the Cayman Islands to get an economic and social benefit from it.